Hello everyone, how you going? And welcome back to What Could Go Wrong. The place, as it says, you know, the best place to learn what not to do. Whatever the situation may be, the people in these posts are just showing you exactly what not to do just to be able to cruise through life. You know, they just give you tips and tricks of the trade just so you don't have to deal with the same mistakes that they made. So honestly, just buckle up because this is one of the most educational reddits out there. But anyway, let's jump straight into it, shall we? So then starting right off with What Could Go Wrong putting a cat on a leash. I don't even know where this one could possibly be going. Oh no, it is going to... Oh, the poor thing doesn't even understand. Whoa! Whoa, well, look at it. It's completely jumping me. Well, I mean, no cats are Springy, but that was incredible. The way that it was just, I want to see it again, but the way that it was just able to just kind of completely, look at that, just backflip. It pretty much did a double corkscrew in the air. I mean, I guess I can't blame the people for not knowing that this is the kind of reaction that the cat might have. I mean, perhaps you should probably know your cat a little bit better than this in terms of their personality and everything. But like I said, that is an incredible reaction. The cat is absolutely freaking out. I mean, I guess it would be kind of freaky if all of a sudden then you just have kind of a collar. Oh, I guess the cat would probably be used to having a collar on, but it would just be this thing that, you know, it's just trying to run away and just seems unable to get away from it. And really, even though the saying says the cat's always done on the feet, it, you can see right there that it almost looks as though if you didn't put his hand out there it could have been way worse i mean i guess if i try and speed click kind of through it and you can go oh no the cat would have been fine and he just kind of i don't know just held it up in the air for another millisecond but i wonder what the cat would have done if the owners didn't do anything about this you know if they did just sell it loose into the white would it just become a perpetual motion machine or something like that or actually maybe this is exactly what happened to the looney tunes has he did but you know it all originated just from a lead being put on but no i guess like i said the entire situation does make sense it's good that the owners so immediately and so quickly just kind of picked up on the fact that it was freaking out it was a little bit difficult for him to pin down at first but he did manage to get there and then hopefully after that the cat was actually able to calm down a little bit because that is just ridiculous the amount of kind of spring in motion the adrenaline that is going through the thing and so yeah i guess that's exactly what this entire sub is just about you know things that set out to be just kind of little mundane tasks you know you're just going to take a cat for a walk or whatever it may be and just suddenly turns into just these kind of videos let's all catch the same wave what could go wrong oh no oh no look at how many people are on that wave they're all kind of piled up on the same thing my goodness is that like the only wave in the last century that anyone has been able to catch and so they're just taking advantage of it i mean wow look at that one guy he actually managed to take it the entire way, but my goodness, look at all of them. You can see all of these guys down here just trying to paddle out of the way. They also wanted a piece of the way, but they just don't want to be mixed in with this monsoon of people. Now it's just got me questioning where the hell something like this even is. You know, surely the beach is a little bit longer than just what we can see here, and not every single surfboard and it should be just packed into one single wave, or at least just a little bit spread out if you are going to catch one wave. Or hey, who knows? Maybe the beach is actually just that packed with surfboarders. That is actually the maximum they are able to spread out. But if you actually pick one person besides this one guy and just watch them the entire way, you see that it's absolutely carnage. You know, like you watch this guy he jumps down and then just gets pummeled this guy just gets pummeled every single person that you pick and just watch gets pummeled by the people behind them and so even though we managed to see this guy get off completely scot free the amount of people that just would have come out of there just with bruises and bashes and just cuts and grazes oh my goodness i can't even imagine the kind of just carnage of injuries that are happening in that wave you know i guess we can pick the same guys before you can see that he got completely munched but if we take it back you can see that he also caused someone else's head to get caved in by his board look and just get picked up and just takes this guy out and really the whole thing's kind of confusing to me because generally surfers are really good about maintaining the distance you know no one wants to be hit by a surfboard or even just have someone just be in their way of a perfect angle especially when someone chooses to take the wave in i mean i guess it doesn't really apply in this case considering nearly every single person chose to actually do it but like i said i can only imagine that there's a little bit more beach there so surely they can spread out i'm sure that's not the only single place that a wave is breaking and hey i guess this video just comes back to what i said in the beginning you know it's just an educational video about the basics of what not to do when just going out for a surf when there's a whole bundle of people around you know maybe you should just reconsider about catching this one and just leave it to the rest of them because regardless of how good that wave is i can say with absolute confidence that there will always be another way what could go wrong trying to overtake a truck while being chased oh no here we go what are we going to do oh they're going to swerve off last minute they're going to try and do the police no they're actually taking the exit oh no they're going to get squished by the truck is the truck actually going to make a maneuver yes it did look at that wow that is a quick thing on the truck's behalf wow it actually took off the door or actually maybe it didn't maybe it just got completely scratched up right on the door but look at that they just got completely cornered allow all the police to just catch up just like that <laughs> and really you can already see that they've hit a few things along the way you know their bumper is just half hanging off and i guess it makes sense why they would attempt to do a maneuver like that but like i said just quick thinking on the truck's behalf just completely scrape it into the side rail pins a maneuver by the cops and then just tasers straight out like it's nothing that is definitely an american car look at that and hey would you look at that i guess just once again this is just an educational video you know if you ever are in a police chase maybe don't attempt to overtake the truck what is it i guess on the outside lane yeah it certainly would have been a little bit smarter to take the inside lane instead of the outside guardrail lane and so i guess now you know if you ever are in a police chase we're actually just completely running away from what is it five police cars let alone the rest and just make sure you go in the inside not the outside of the truck because as you can see you're about to lose the cops you know they weren't in a tail at all it's not like they had the helicopter and all the other police cars on you as well no 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 you were about to be home free if it wasn't for that pesky truck now it's just got me wondering what the hell they even did considering it's obviously a fairly serious police chase maybe it wasn't anything serious in the beginning but they just refused to pull over and then over time they were driving dangerously and speeding and all of those kind of things so they just had to call in the full squadron because this kind of video makes it look as though they robbed a bank or something you know they've got the beaten up car they're speeding off the highway just with police in pursuit all of those kind of things it really is just like a hollywood police chase now, who am i kidding if someone is actually that dumb to be running away from the law like that there is certainly no way that they have the correct amount of 
brain cells to be able to choose the inside and the outside lane. I mean, I guess we haven't really seen how their driving was up until then. So maybe they actually were doing an all right job swerving in between traffic. Not that that's something that I'm endorsing at all. You know, that is obviously an illegal thing. And then so after all the time that they spent trying to evade the cops, it just really does come to a screeching halt, doesn't it? And so I guess it's kind of an educational video too, regards, you know, if you do want to learn to become baby driver, then maybe actually take the inside lane, not the outside lane like this person does. Or maybe, and probably the preferred and recommended one, maybe just don't even put yourself in this kind of position because there's nothing easier than evading the cops when they're not even looking for you in the first place. Green shirt guy felt this. Oh no, I don't know. I can't even watch. I don't even want to watch. No, no, no. Just don't let me. Oh no, I just saw him fall and I know exactly what would happen, especially why that guy's around. Oh no, I saw it that time. Oh my goodness. You can see everyone's reaction as they just kind of even run away. Or if you just watch the entire crowd, you just see every single range of emotion and body reaction just in one shot. <laughs> but yeah, I guess exactly like the title said, that green shirt guy just completely felt this. You know, he didn't want to catch any of those vibes, let alone the pain that was involved in the entire thing. But no, it really doesn't make sense as to why anyone would be doing this in the first place. I wonder if it's kind of a rolling beam because it looks as though it just all of a sudden, I mean, I guess it is right next to water, so he probably just slipped off. And so I guess thinking about it a little more, even though he does have a life jacket on, it doesn't make any sense as to why you'd be doing that around water especially. And obviously his entire goal is to kind of tightrope walk across, but really you could almost just step over that gap as is. I guess even though I don't know exactly what the blue and the green shirts mean, I can only imagine this is some kind of holiday area where I'm fairly certain there would have been a little bit of liquid courage involved in this entire thing, you know, just kind of making dumb decisions for you. As I can only hope that anyone clear in mind would certainly not be thinking that that's a good idea to kind of carry out with. There are just so many injuries involved in a song like this for virtually just no reward. Like I said, you can literally just step over the gap for goodness sake. And really, even though there's only about 17 pixels in the entire game, you can really just get everything you need to, but just based on the kind of reaction, just full mouth open, just draw hit the floor, it's just the entire pain just rushes through you. So yeah, I reckon this is definitely one of those ones where you just hear people going, oh, what could go wrong? You know, just kind of walk across the gap. No worries, it'll all be fine. And then two seconds later, you just have the guy kind of almost just underwater, just because he had a little incident, so to say. And even though I hope he didn't sustain any long-term injuries from this thing, you can certainly see that it's going to leave a mark on your ego, if nothing else. What could go wrong? Putting a car in reverse, getting out and locking the doors. Surely you still have the key on you if you're able to lock yourself out of the car, you know? We don't live in the 80s anymore. How is anyone locking themselves out of their own car? It just doesn't even make sense. And talking about not even making sense, how do you even go about doing this, you know? Like the title says, you obviously put it in reverse and then got out. Like, who the hell actually has a car in gear or any sort of gear and then proceeds to step out of the vehicle, especially with no brake on, obviously? And then on top of all of that, you just throw in a nice healthy dose of stupidity just by locking the doors, you know, just to kind of really round off the entire situation. So I don't even really think that this is what could go wrong, you know? There were just so many things wrong with this in the first place. And I almost feel as though what could go wrong generally has a little bit of thought about it, you know, maybe they just didn't think about it entirely or just maybe they didn't execute it correctly. But generally speaking, people have actually made the conscious decision to actually go out and do what they're doing. With this situation here, I just feel as though there was no thought about the entire thing whatsoever, you know? Like I said, what kind of qualified driver actually decides to put it in gear and then get out of the car? I can't comprehend the fact that anyone would actually be thinking that that's a good idea. So there is no way that any thought was actually put into this entire thing. And so it's lucky for everyone involved, especially for the person that was actually driving the car in the first place, that there was actually just kind of bystanders that were willing to help out, you know? Because you can see right there that that one guy just managed to smash the window and then unlock it and then also stop the car realistically all by himself. So if it wasn't for that good Samaritan, then some say that that lady would still be there. What could go wrong removing the Prime Minister from the podium? Oh no, what are we going to have? I have no idea what kind of country this is. Whoa, 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 look at that. Just kind of completely manhandling him. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Why is the Prime Minister just completely being a stick? Look at that. Hang on, I want to see that again. Look at this. The guy doesn't do a thing. He just completely is a statue and just holds on to his podium. And then it's kind of actually incredible all the people that just rush to his age. You know, he doesn't have to do a thing. He literally gets given flowers and then all of a sudden, the entire rest of the entire hall just swamps this one guy and just manhandles him. We should do who this guy was because it just doesn't make any sense as to why this would even be happening, you know? Is it another member of parliament or is it just kind of a random civilian that just kind of waltz in and picks up the prime minister? Surely that just can't happen. But I just can't get over the fact the way that he just kind of picks up the prime minister, you know? You can see the study that he tries to kind of grab an arm of the arms and that's not working. So then he just goes for under the leg. It's like such a random kind of pickup technique. It's not as though he kind of grabs him around the entire legs and kind of carries him like a baby or anything like that. No, it's as though he picked him up just to be able to move him that one meter right there. And I mean, hey, like I said, the Prime Minister just completely acted like a statue. And I mean, props to him for not kind of arcing up or anything. He obviously determined that microsecond that by the guy giving him flowers, he didn't actually mean him any harm. He just actually wanted him out of the podium or something. It's almost as though he has all of his henchmen just deal with the problem for him. And I guess actually, that's exactly what happens, you know? And I mean, I guess it makes sense considering he is the Prime Minister. But like I said, I don't exactly know what country this is, and I do really want to know what it is now. Trying to listen to the start here and then also kind of seeing the words here, I can only imagine it's going to be kind of Russian. And I guess if it is Russian, it certainly does explain a few things. But at the same time, it kind of only explains the second half of the video. It just doesn't explain anything about why the guy went about picking up the Prime Minister in the first place. I guess kind of like the last one, I don't see how there was any real thought put into this, you know. Surely the guy just didn't think they'd be able to walk onto the podium and just kind of carry the Prime Minister out the front door. But at the same time, if I'm sticking to my rules, it is definitely a walk could go wrong, considering the guy had the thought to kind of bring in flowers. And so I guess in that case, the guy must have directed all of his thoughts towards picking out the right flowers for the
Um, after the last one, I'm not sure what can top it, but here we go. Let's see a little bit of a run up. Oh, come on now, drone, take off. Oh, oh no. Oh no, that is so sad. Just the way the guy just stands over there and just kind of contemplating his life's mistakes. Look at that. He goes, oh, well, I guess that wasn't too good, was it? I mean, I must say, I don't really understand what is going on here in the first place. I guess maybe they're doing a little bit of a demonstration showing off their new kind of, I guess, humanly launched drones. But it kind of just looks like someone's just mucking around a construction site or something like that. You know, you just got random concrete everywhere. I mean, I guess that's what the military base is going to be or the naval base in this circumstance. But I really don't get why they couldn't have launched it kind of along the concrete instead of just launching it into the ocean. Because then at least even if it does nosedive into the ground, you might have a few components to be able to salvage or whatnot if you want to. But let's be honest, if that kind of drone, so to say, crash lands into the ocean, there is no way you're going to be getting any of it back. I mean, I understand that they're going to need a few test flights to get everything working and whatnot, but I don't understand why you would do this. I guess one on TV and then two in front of all your superiors, you know. You're trying to do what I can only imagine to be an awesome showcase of your new technology, whatever it may be, and then all of a sudden, like I said, literally crash and burns or crash and drowns, and also just completely ruins that poor soldier's day. So yeah, it's actually kind of impressive that they have enough thought to be able to make a drone, but not enough thought to be able to maybe not crashing into the water. You know, like I said, I don't care that it doesn't work. That's just what planes do, really, when you're first testing them out. But to be confident enough to the point where you actually take an entire run up to then spin seconds later, it's looking like the Red Bee Flu Tiger or something like that. You know, they just take a massive run up and it actually travels less distances than he ran it by. So yeah, definitely mark this one down in the record books as a failed attempt. I mean, like I said, they really should have just turned 90 degrees and then the whole thing would have been avoided. But hey, I guess what can I say? That's what this up is for, you know, just people not thinking about every little component that they might need to. I can't believe we went back for a second round. What are we going to have here? Oh no, I don't even know if this is really allowed. Look at this. Here we go. I've actually seen this guy. I always forget his name. Wait, I need to pause it before we go to this second round. But I remember I've seen this brute of a human slapper right here. And unlike the last couple of videos where I'm not sure if it's in Russia, this one is definitely in Russia. You know, it is like the Russian slapping contest or whatever it's called. But anyway, let's watch round two. Let's just watch this guy's soul leave his body for the second time. Oh my goodness. Look, it barely moves the man. He barely flinches. And then here we go. Three, two, one. Oh no. Oh, I was a little bit early. He winds up and then good night. Oh my goodness. It is absolutely ridiculous that it's even classed as a sport. But really, hang on YouTube. It's not fighting, I swear. It's just actually a sport. It's kind of like boxing in a way. You know, they both agreed to be there. They both signed up to it. But this poor man just ended up with a sword show and just had to fight this monster. But no, it really does make me laugh. Just like the title said, I can't believe that he goes back for round two. You know, he virtually gets completely knocked down in round one. And you should have known that you barely made a scratch in the first one. So there is no way that you're going to be surviving round two. Really, the champion just went, oh, we're playing like that, aren't we? I guess I'll just turn it to level two now. Because like I said, I have seen videos with this guy in it before and I have never, ever seen him lose. I've never even seen him virtually flinch. He completely takes it on the chin every single time. No worries. He's just unblinking and unwavering form. And it's honestly just scary. And also, I've just realized in the background there are just people climbing ropes. Like, what the hell is going on here? As well as it being so random and it's actually a major spectator sport. I mean, I guess it is kind of entertaining to watch. But where the hell have they set this up where there's just kind of people practicing rope climbing in the background? And so, hey, if you hadn't seen anything like this before, well, there you go. You know, like I said, it's an educational video, this sub. And as well as just brought your sporting horizons, it really just does teach you that some people just have brick walls and you really just shouldn't mess with them, you know? Don't pick a fight that you just know you're going to lose. And so now, finally, for the double one for what could go wrong, we have what could go wrong asking a police officer, what are you going to do? Arrest me? Oh my goodness, this is a three minute video. Buckle in, everyone, because we're going to be here forever. Here we go. What are we going to have? I can already see, judging by everyone's reaction, this is some kind of Karen, you know, like they just said. She's obviously not wearing a mask and she's also refusing to get out of there. Come on, here we go. What are we going to do? Oh, I want to hear this again. What does she say? Here we go. Oh, look at that famous last word. It's never been sweeter, have they? She just refuses to let down. There are so many people like this. You can just see. What are you going to just shoot me? Oh my goodness, lady. Well, you've already said one thing that you probably read over here. You probably don't want to do that again. Oh, here we go. It's kicking off. Here we go. We got the body cam. She's getting handcuffed. She's getting put to the ground because she's just refusing arrest. Here we go. Oh, how sweet that is. How she just asked for a little bit of reassurance from the general public and she just got none. You know, everyone is just standing there, arms folded. None of that. And really, lady, you're preaching to the wrong people. Every single person that I've seen so far has just been wearing a mask. Here we go. Police brutality right there. Oh, and then once again, the sweet irony. She just says, oh, I hope someone's filming it. And then literally, he's wearing a body cam. Oh, no. I need to hear that again. That was so sad. Look at this. She's trying to speak Spanish. Are you trying to speak Spanish to people? I do speak Spanish. Like always, it just escalates so much more than I ever needed to. You know, just literally, it is a piece of cloth and you escalate it into getting handcuffed. Like, where is the disconnect? And of course, everyone on the internet knows that this is an absolute current. You know, it's just every single point that she makes just doesn't make any sense, you know. From her saying that she's in a public place and not on private land. And then even like, obviously, the title said, just taunting the police officer from arresting her. She, she really is the perfect example case about every little thing that could be in a current just in one person. But I have to say, my favorite part about the entire thing is just how sad it is when she just tries to speak Spanish just to people, you know, whatever she might have just said she could try and rally the Spanish troops just obviously didn't work, you know. Every single person in the sword just stays completely away from her. It totally makes sense. And so I guess in saying that is also just a perfect example case of just what could go wrong, you know. Kind of like the last one, don't pick a fight with the person that is either stronger or fitter or even just in a position of power over, you know. It just doesn't even make sense. And like I said, it's all over face marks. It's not like she's trying to rob the bank or anything like that. So really, I guess we just come full circle, you know. Like I said at the beginning of the video, it's an educational video. And like I said at the end of the video, it's an educational video. Just don't be like this person. I guess saying that, don't be like any of these people. 
reward, especially not this lady. But anyway, that is going to do it with the top of the mind for what could go wrong. So thank you for watching. If you did another video, feel free to do the YouTube channel little things down below. Let me know if you had a favorite post out of any of these. Other than that, we check out awesome posts all over Reddit. So make sure you check some of the other videos out now. Or maybe you just want to consider subscribing so don't miss another one of these in the future. But all in all, have a good one and see ya. Yeah.